Hi. In the previous video, we saw this example where we kind of semi-automated computing fee scores or technical efficiency scores for each firm. Now, generally, we do not want technical efficiency for each firm at a time. Rather, we would like to have a table where computed values of all the firms are given. That is, in a complete table, we have the names of the firms, the technical efficiency scores, fee scores, so on and so forth. So what we would do is we would try to use a function called as macros or visual basic automation. For doing that, first of all, what we need to make sure is we have this developer tab, this developer tab or ribbon on our screens. If we don't have, we need to develop, uh, we need to install it first, go to files, go to options, go to customize ribbons and check if developer is there or not. If developer is not there, you tick mark on developer and press OK. So in your ribbon, you would be able to see this developer option. Okay. Now in the previous example, as we saw, we have some fee, uh, sorry, unit. We have sum of lambdas, we have fee, we have technical efficiency. This is for form number 100. Now we have in total 141 forms. So we want a table in which there is a list of fees and technical efficiency of all the forms. So we would try to automate it that in one go, we receive all the scores together. So for that, I make a new table where I write say SR number, that is number of forms, say one, two, there are 141 forms. So I'll drag it up to 141. Okay. Name of form, you can copy the name of forms from your company name. We can copy this itself. We need fee scores and technical efficiency scores, which is one by fee. Okay. Now go to this developer option. There would be insert active X control and the leftmost button, click on it and draw this uh, uh, active X command on anywhere on your screen. Okay, again, developer option, insert active X, the leftmost in active X, that is the command button, active X control, click on it and drag it on your space. So you will get a command button. Now double press on it. When you double press on it, of Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications, VBA book would open where you have to write some basic commands to get the solution. Okay. Now you have units ranging from one to 141 and we need solution for unit number one to 141. So we will write for unit is equal to one to 141. Now we need to tell where this unit is. So unit is in cell number J2. So we will write unit or we would write range into inverted comma cell J2 is equal to unit. That is, we are specifying where the unit is. Now we need to tell it for what we are going to compute for unit one to 141. So we want to compute technical efficiency scores using solver. So for that, the command is solver solve user finish true. 
we need to write this so this is basically specifying that we are going to use solver to solve our function now where do we want output so if you look at our excel sheet in t2 starting from t2 we want fees the score for p is given in j6 so the output of j6 or whatever the values of fee that comes in j6 we want in t2 up to t142 that is the cell t2 to cell 142 so how we go about this so first of all we mention range t and unit plus 1 so we start unit from 1 so unit plus 1 would give us values in cell number 2 that is range t unit plus 1 would start giving us values of phi from cell number t2 and what do we want there we want range and whatever the values are there in cell j6 j6 means we are specifying the cell j6 where we are we have the values of phi so this values of phi will start coming from cell number t2 now we want technical efficiency scores in u2 technical efficiency scores are given in j8 so the values of j8 we want from u2 up to u142 so we will specify that in the range u and unit plus 2 sorry unit plus 1 because we want from cell 2 so it would give you values from u2 we want values of range j8 that is the values of technical efficiency so what we have specified is that we want the values of j6 in t and j8 in u starting from cell t2 and u2 respectively okay. before we proceed we need to write a very important command so our decision variables here are lambdas and phi so when we do iterations what we need to do is we need to pre remove the previous values for example here i have taken 100 so if i want to go to 101th unit what we need to do is we need to set the values of lambdas to 0 phi to 0 and then do computation again so that sometimes what happens is when we don't do this when we don't write this it takes the values every time we compute the values of fees and technical efficiency it sometimes gives different values so it is better to write uh, or specify that before going to next step let us erase everything and start again so range let us specify the range of lambdas the lambdas are from i2 up to i142 so i2 to i142 i'm specifying the range full stop value is equal to 0 range where are fees value are a uh, fee value are in cell j6 so j6 value is equal to 0 that is before going to next step we are just erasing the previous values and setting it to 0 and then we tell it to go to next unit now when you specify next unit you go to tools reference and click on solver and press okay this is a very important step 
if we don't click on solver the values uh, or the this command won't work now go to excel click on design mode that is we are turning off the design mode and click on command button you will start getting the values of fees one by one in a tabular format so you can observe that now we don't need to calculate fee separately for each firm rather through a small visual basic application for micro uh, for this um, for for this command we are able to automate it and in a tabular format we will get all the values of fee and technical efficiency in one go so here we have our table where we have the values of fees and technical efficiency for all 141 firms so this is the automation and in one go you have all the values together 